the channel so here we are discussing the question make it white on code forces so the problem states that you have horizontal strip of n cells each cell is either white or black you can choose a continuous segment of cells once and paint them all white after this action all the black cells in the segment will become white and white ones will remain white what is the minimum length of segment that needs to be painted white in order for all n cells to become white so our input input is t number of test cases and for each test case it contains a single integer n the length of the strip and the second line contains the string s which contains w or b the symbol w denotes white cell and b a black one it is guaranteed that at least one cell of the given strip is black so for each test case we need to output a single number the minimum length of a continuous segment of cells that need to be painted white in order for the entire strip to become white so let's see the examples first in the first example we have w b b and w b w so here you need to make all of them white so first is already white no problem we need to change the this one this one and this one so we need to change three of them but we want a continuous segment of cells so let's take this continuous segment of cells and make them white so when we take four of them to turn white so the whole step would turn white as it will black will change to white here also black will change to white white will remain as it is and black will change to white and the last white so the whole strip is painted white so what is the minimum length that is 4 in this case now moving on to the next case which is 1 so if length is 1 and you know we have at least one black so the output is simply one here in the next case you have wb so in case of wb first one is white second is black so you need to change only one element this black to white and whole strip will be white so the output is one in this case as well now going to bbw you need these two white so the output will be two here in case of bwwb now you see you have black at first and black at end so you need whole strip white and you can paint only continuous cells so you need to paint all of the cells to white so it will be four now for the next one which is bwb wwb you see you need to paint this one this one and this one but all of them are discontinuous so you need to take whole array in consideration because your first element is also black and last element is also black so we got one case here that if first element is black and last element is black paint the whole array for return simply the length of the string so the output is 6 in this case now in case of black black white black you first two are white so no need to worry take rest of them so the answer is 4 now checking this the answer is 7 because you will start from here and end here as first and last elements are white so now let's discuss the idea the idea is very simple in this case so first you need to take the string and find the very first b that occurs in the string so in this case the very first b occurs 
at index 1 so I store it as the start index and for n index it will be the case where I have the last b so the last b is at index 4 now the answer would be end index minus start index plus 1 so the answer is 4 now let's consider the case of this bwwb so first index is 0 and the last index is 3 so 3 minus 0 plus 1 that gives us 4 as the answer now in this string start index is 1 for b and the end index where we found the last b is this one which is our index 7 so it will be 7 minus 1 plus 1 which gives us the answer is 7 now this is all working fine for the cases where we have more than 1b now if we have only 1b in the case let's say wb so my start index is 1 and my end index is also 1 so it will be 1 minus 1 plus 1 so it gives me answer 1 now if I take only b so it will be same start index same end index so still my answer is 1 so this is working fine for all the test cases so just your answer is start end minus start plus 1 so this is our solution now let's look at the code to understand more so here is the code we have start index as strip dot find b so it will give us the index of starting b which was coming 0 or 1 in most of the cases and then we would find end index as reverse find b which will give us the end of the b which was suppose 4 3 etc and then we need to do end index minus start index so we do end index minus start index and we add plus 1 to it if neither of them are minus 1 and we return the segment length so in this way we get a output so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching